that almost immediately gained popularity, oddly enough, with some famous American gangsters. Hello everyone and welcome back to AmmoMart.com where you can find real firepower online. Today we're going to talk about the fascinating history of the 380 ACP cartridge and some of the iconic guns it serviced throughout the decades. The 380 ACP was developed by John Moses Browning for the 1908 Colt model pistol. It was a hammerless semi-automatic pistol that almost immediately gained popularity, oddly enough, with some famous American gangsters. In fact, it was a weapon was a very favorite of Al Capone, Bonnie Parker, and John Dillinger actually had one on him when he was killed out in front of the Biograph Theater in 1934. One of the reasons why that gun was so popular was the cartridge was actually an offshoot of a previous Browning cartridge called the 38 ACP, which in fact gave birth to the 380 ACP as well as 38 Super later on. The 38 ACP was a much larger cartridge and could be found in a much larger gun, but oddly enough was only slightly more powerful than the 380 ACP. A little bit technically about the 380 ACP. The cartridge, which you can see here, is 9 by 17 where its closely associated partner is the 9mm Luger, which is 9 by 19 They are, in fact, the same diameter. They just use a standard versus metric designation for the caliber. The 380 is a straight wall cartridge, unlike the 9, which is tapered. The technical aspects of the 380 ACP cartridge are also quite interesting. The cartridge is straight wall. It's 9mm or 380 diameter by 17mm long. You can get projectiles that range from 80 to 120 grains. And out of that, you can expect to generate two to perhaps 300 foot-pounds of energy. Later on, we'll talk about whether that controversial number is actually adequate stopping power in a large or everyday carry pistol. Throughout the decades after it was invented, it became popular enough to actually be adopted by five different militaries, mostly in Europe. But, strangely enough, American general officers were actually issued a 1908 Colt for their sidearms. In fact, George Patton originally had his engraved with three stars, and then four, of course, once he was promoted. One of the more iconic guns that the 380 ACP serviced was the Walther PPK. This is actually a Bursa clone of it, but very similar weapon with some more features with the Bursa. The reason why we need to talk about this is simple. This is what's known as a delayed blowback pistol, which in the early version of the cartridge is what it could be found in. The way blowback pistols work is they sort of time things out with the weight of the slide. That characteristic of the gun being relatively heavy for its size offered the shooter a whole ton of recoil management. And as an added bonus, because the barrel was fixed, you picked up a little more accuracy. The Walther PPK made the 380 ACP the cartridge it is today, in my opinion. And because of that, it hung around just long enough to get super popular in the concealed carry world, which is a major, major force in the handgun industry today. After World War II, the gun was actually used by a lot of European police forces until the popularity of the 9mm actually replaced it. By the 1970s, the 380 was out of service pretty much as a police and military style weapon due to its perceived lack of stopping power. In the subsequent video, we're going to talk about the 380 ACP cartridge and whether or not it's a good choice as a concealed carry or everyday carry weapon and delve into the idea of whether it actually does have enough stopping power. Personally, I think we're going to be surprised by the effectiveness of the bullet and I believe it has a bright future as well as a very, very interesting past. Before we go, I'd like to leave you with some words that might clear up some added confusion about the 380 cartridge. 380 ACP has gotten a lot of different sort of nicknames attached to it, and it can be very confusing for buyers that aren't around the caliber a total lot. For instance, it can be called 9mm Kurs, 9mm Short, 9x17, which is more related to its actual dimensions, 
But interestingly enough, its CIP designation is actually 9 millimeter Browning Court. As it turns out, I was teaching a class just last evening, and I sold a fella a box of 9 millimeter Browning Court for his 380 ACP, and he insisted that I had sold him the wrong ammunition. So before you buy, Google some of the other terms and other names that you can find 380 ACP by, because there is a ton of them. And the interesting thing about it is, if you're so inclined, research how it got some of those nicknames. It's a really fascinating story. Thank you for your time. Don't be afraid to like and subscribe. And please watch our next video on 380 ACP as a concealed carry pistol.